Hi there, friends. Welcome to a Shozy Z production. How are you all doing? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you know you want to. Ah, I just love to feast my eyes upon this, this particular doll. I got to bring him out again. I know, and he's never been outside. So this was a treat for me. I was in a doll challenge. Uh, it was actually Disney bounding Halloween challenge and it was 30 31 days I think I didn't get to participate in every single day because of work and you know other things life basically but um I did get to bring out some of my dolls that I had boxed up and he was one of them him and Catherine and you'll be able to see her in a second but it was so neat to take outdoor photos of your dolls you know have you ever taken your dolls outside anyway if you haven't it is a real treat and it doesn't matter if people are watching or not because my neighbor's always poking her head over my the back um, fence and and looking at my pigs looking at my dolls looking at me going hmm what's going on over there <laughs> it's okay I don't I don't mind what once in a while I catch her and other times sometimes she says hi sometimes she just kind of you know just ducks down real quick it's no big deal uh, yeah it's all it's all in my life that's it's about me it's you know whatever it's fine <laughs> you're gonna catch me doing a lot of things you're not gonna catch me running bare naked through my yard but you're gonna catch me doing a lot of weird things it's okay so it was just wonderful to to see him again and now I see I need to add some like straps to his to his um um his shoes you know uh, his like boots up where the legs are and um I think that's pretty much it um you can't really see he has a beautifully tailored shirt on that's buttoned up and it has cuffs and everything it's beautiful you can't really see it <laughs> at all because <laughs> he's got layers and layers and He's got these really nicely tailored um, uh, slacks. Can't see those either. <laughs> but they're there. Trust me. So here's a wide angle view of him and Catherine. And you can see really here, since this is outside, the, the, the size difference between them. And I will show you at the very end, if you stay to the very end, I promise I won't make this long, um, what the the doll, a similar doll to uh, what I started out with, what he really st started out looking like. Um, it's a really pretty doll. Um, but anyway, she's 18 inches, of course, because she's an American Girl doll, and he is an Italian doll. Now, um it's a it's an older vintage soft bodied italian doll it has like um three quarter arms and three quarter legs and then of course the head and um, the rest of it's all soft so i had to take apart the back and put some kind of a structure inside the doll and and restuff it and everything so that he could he could have mobility in the arms and legs so he could kind of stand on his own and he does he stands pretty well i'm really surprised there's there's some there's some wood dowels in there there's some wire in there there's all kinds of stuff inside his body <laughs> so um he was a real um work in progress for me he he was really neat for me to to work on i really enjoyed working on this doll and then sometimes and then other times it's like ah what am i doing so it was pretty it was pretty intense. It was it took me weeks, weeks to work on him. And of course, here's a close-up of him. And you would not believe this, but I'm going to tell you my secret. He has, he has his regular hair, the hair that came on the doll because it was rooted. And then he has a wig on top of that. Um, because I wanted to make his hair as full as possible because he is a lion-esque type of figure. And of course, I sculpted his face, and then I decided, hey, what are you, what are you looking like here? I, I don't, I don't know. And so I had to go back and um, take my Dremel and take off part of his face, and and those. That footage is all lost, you know, of course, because of the phone issue. So um, all of that is lost. And the original photos of 
of the doll that I had, the Italian doll that I had before, um, are lost too. So I found one that was similar um, that I'll show you. But because I had photos of me actually drilling off parts of his face. And I thought, I'm going to post these. These are going to be great. Well, <laughs> I never got, never got done. Um, and then I had to, I painted his face and I'm like, what? No, this doesn't look right. So I repainted it and I'm like, mm, not quite there. And then I um, put hair, you know, I cut pieces of his, of hair off and I, um, uh, of course, faux hair, a saran or what have you. And, um, and then glued it onto his face. And then I, um, and then I went back over that hair with different colors of, of paint. And so he went through a huge, huge process and, um, I thought he was never going to get done. Um, and then of course, you know, his nails and his, his fingernails and toenails were all done and they kept chipping. And so I had to go back and re-glue some of that on. And so he's, he's very fragile. He doesn't look like it, but he is very fragile. I would say he's definitely not a play doll. This is definitely an art doll. You can see where his nails are. I made them like, you know, um, claws or like, you know, that sort of thing. Talons. I, I want to say talons. I don't know that's the right word but um and then I hand stitched the uh, his like vest and um and it's off to the side because they their clothing was very rough looking it was very like middle earth type of looking um and then of course uh in his in his over shirt right there with um was pieces from a sh a a, a uh, the smocking you can see around the the cuffs um was left over from the original shirt that I used um and I just kept cutting it and cutting it down to size to what I needed and I hand stitched all of that because I didn't have access to my studio for some reason it was probably too hot or something and then um his 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 original tailored shirt pants and his beautiful cape is gorgeous. It's all hand-stitched leather, and it's all pieced together. It was in the previous um, two um, pictures as well. Were all made by my very good friend, um, Laura's American Girl Boutique, and um, she she she's a she's a seamstress, and she made all of this and I when I f saw the cape I was floored I mean I wanted to sit down and cry because the cape is so big and so heavy and it's magnificent she nailed it I'm telling you it's it's a it's a piece of art that's what it is and this is just a a wider view of him from top to bottom I kind of made his shoes or boots they're kind of shoes because they, they show his, I couldn't make him boots because it would have, you know, wouldn't have displayed his, uh, his claws on his toes. Um, and that was really important that those showed. And they also showed in the, sh the series too. Um, but they kind of went up a little too high and I hand stitched all of that. And, um, so I think I need to go back in and put some uh, like straps around them to make them look a, just a tad, not so clean, make them look a little bit more rough, you know, uh, a little bit more earthy. I think that's the only thing I really, really, really need to do. Um, but other than that, I think he looks okay. And I, but the cape, like I said, it's a, it's a piece of art. Um, he's, he's an art doll, but that that cape mm, tell you it's wonderful and I really wanted to um I really wanted to put this to music but I didn't of course but um this was Catherine walking away from him and because they had a lot of farewells it seemed like um and this gorgeous dress that she's got on is a high-low dress and it was made by um rolling rock dolls 
and she's actually in high heels here and she stood I was really excited that she was standing in these high heels um, because it's really hard to get your doll to stand in high heels but she she was she was standing um, and it just there was because there was a lot of times where this particular Catherine was always dressing up and going to um, special affairs and that sort of thing and he wasn't a part of that world and a part of that life um, the second series um, he was it was more inclusive he he was more included in her her life when she would dress up and that kind of thing which wasn't very often ironically enough so um, their roles were kind of uh, switched a little bit but um, anyway and here's the next the next uh, pick coming up it seems like he's got longing in his in his gaze for her and she just is hesitant about leaving him but you know as we know in the end of the series she leaves anyway because basically she dies and I don't want to give it away for to I just kind of did but <laughs> there's a lot more to the storyline because <laughs> there's three seasons so um, for those of you who haven't seen it. All right, so thanks for watching this. And um, I, I hope you enjoyed these photos as much as I did because I really loved taking these, an outside glimpse of the, with the natural light and everything. And um, I'll, I'll, there's one more picture I really want to show you. The doll on the left is very, very similar um, to what Vincent or the beast started out as um, it's not the exact same doll of course but it's very very similar um, I the I, I like I said I wish I had still had the photo of the original doll but this one's very very similar um, it, it was an Italian doll this one's a lot um, a lot heavier priced on um on ebay um than the one that i bought mine was only not it was only like hmm, you know i can't remember what exactly her price was but it was not nearly as much as this one it wasn't not not nearly as much um is what this one goes for and it wasn't nearly in as good a shape as this one either but um but i think she's and this one I think is a 27 inch doll and I know that he's not 27 inches. He's probably 24 inches I would say. About 24 inches now that he's gotten um, a structure inside of him and he stands up straight and he's not a floppy doll. He's um, because the before he had a structure inside him all you could do is sit the doll down that's it. But now that he has a structure he can he can more or less stand. And um, so that that's the difference right there. So that added some height to him. And of course the hair and, you know, all that kind of thing. So, um, but that's, that's what he looked like before. And you can kind of see this, you can kind of see some of the, but I did add quite a bit to him too. I, I don't know if you can tell in this photo, but I did. All right. Just wanted to show you that. So thanks so much for watching today's video and for um, hitting the notification bell so you know when new videos are available, for subscribing, um, for, um, you know, for leaving prudent comments, and for giving this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks so much. Take care, you guys.